Tail Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering had to stop production at its main shipyard for several weeks as the site is occupied by subcontractors demanding better pay. The government warned the strike is illegal and there are protests on the other side by employees whose livelihoods are on the line as well. Kim Doyeon has the full story. The protest is only growing. Now almost 50 days since an initial 100 subcontractors first occupied the main shipyard of Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering in Gyeonggi, Gyeongsangnam-do province. According to local reports, nearly 10,000 members and supporters of the Korean Metal Workers Union are protesting not only Daewoo Shipbuilding and its contractors, but also the government. Even in Seoul on Wednesday, thousands marched near the presidential office in Yongsangu district. At this point, local reports say negotiations between the two sides are making progress. The company has insisted on a pay increase of no more than 4.5%, while the union has lowered its demand to a raise of 5%. The strike began early last month with these four demands. Return to the pay level of five years ago, when Daewoo Shipbuilding cut pay by 30% at a time when South Korea's shipbuilding industry was struggling. Increased bonuses for contractors by 300%. Recognize labor union activities as legitimate work so the company fully compensates labor union officers. Lastly, create a designated area for labor union headquarters. In the meantime, there have been growing voices against the union as well, especially from the employees of Daewoo Shipbuilding, whose livelihoods are now also at stake due to the stop in production. Around 4,000 employees protested Wednesday against the union at the main shipyard. According to the company, the halt in production has cost the company around 460 million US dollars so far. In an effort to resolve the situation, minister level officials have gone to the site of the strike in the past few days, but to no avail. The Minister of Employment and Labor, Lee Jong Shik, is due to resume talks with the union Wednesday evening to try to find common ground. Kim Doyan, Arirang News.